the United Nations is clapping back at Burkina Faso's decision to kick out the UN official, which they declared persona non grata, which means that person is not welcome in that country, so they immediately has to leave that country. But the UN is arguing that Burkina Faso had no right to do that to this UN top official. The UN Security General Antonio Guterres said that he's learned with regret about Burkina Faso's decision and expressed his full confidence in Ms. Manzi's commitment and professionalism. He said the doctrine of persona non grata does not apply to the United Nations officials. Only the Secretary General has the authority to decide after carefully investigating with respect to the withdrawal of any United Nations official. But the Burkina Faso government is standing their ground and they're saying that the reason why they kicked out this UN official is because she was discouraging investors from investing in Burkina Faso and actually um, prophesying basically because they said she kept saying in a few months it's going to get worse here in Burkina Faso people you know the the conflict is going to get worse like why is she predicting these things as a UN top official you're supposed to be there to coordinate because that was her job and as I said she's a top official she's from Italy so her job is not to prophesy that there's gonna be more conflict there's gonna be trouble in Burkina Faso in the next few months like my question is how does she know unless and otherwise she has some involvement or she knows somebody that is about to do something how does she know so the Burkina Faso government is rightfully angry at her because she kept talking about this and investors are fearing to invest in Burkina Faso because they feel like it's not stable and as we all know the UN, the US, the EU have power when it comes to discouraging people. They will put out a disclaimer where this place is not safe. We will not advise people to travel and a lot of people when they see that they are put off. They are afraid to travel to that area or to invest in that area so it does make an impact. So let's not pretend that her saying that is not going to make any difference in Burkina Faso. It will and it's going to impact their revenue and the people. So I don't understand when they say like there was they had no right to tell her to leave that country. That's their country. They are the government at the moment. Yes, they are the military government, but they're still there. They are in the position of power. So if they believe that she did something wrong and they don't want to accept it, why are we looking down on their you know, legitimacy of power? They are in that position. They took over through a coup d'etat. That's true. They were not elected, but they're still in that position. So as I told you, the general of the UN said, this is unacceptable and he believes she's a good employee so she didn't deserve that. The lady herself did not respond, at least we didn't see her response. But if she did what they are claiming that she did, she definitely crossed the line and that was not in her job description. But anyways fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about the UN pushing back the decision made by the Burkina Faso military government. I'm Wangil Zalalem, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.